Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're doing well wherever you are in the world. I know it's been a bit of a tough year for everyone, uh, but I hope you're keeping safe and well and, and managing okay. I wanted to take this chance today to explain something that's been causing me a little bit of worry. Uh, some people have been asking me questions about lye concentration in their soap recipe calculations, which has led me to think that maybe they're misunderstanding some of the really key terms in soap making and some of the key principles and uh, knowledge that you need to know in calculating soap recipes. So I put together a video quite a while ago now um, called how to formulate and calculate your own soap recipes and I will put that somewhere you'll be able to find that and the link uh, below as well. And in that, I use this term and I think it may have been misunderstood a little bit. So I'm going to give you some context to this term, what it means, where it kind of comes from, and hopefully that will clear everything up. This term really doesn't relate to how much lye or sodium hydroxide uh, that's in your soap recipe at all. It really is a reference to how much water is in your soap recipe and in particular how much water is in your lye solution. So this is all about water in soap recipes. So you'll have to trust me on this and just go with me because that lye concentration term it's related to this subject and as we go through you'll get to see what it really means and and why this is important to go through this causes probably the most amount of confusion for anybody when they're learning about soap recipes and i see lots of questions and comments on soap making groups around percentages of water and what that means and yeah people do get confused by that because there are different methods so there are three ways that you can calculate the water in a soap recipe and the most common way is to calculate the water as a percentage of oils So what this means is that if you're using this method to calculate the amount of water in your soap recipe, uh, you tell the soap calculator how much water you want in your recipe as a percentage of oils and that's how it's going to work it out. So say for example your total base oils for your soap recipe and that might be say it might be olive oil and coconut oil palm oil, whatever base main oils you're using for your soap recipe, whatever that amount is, and say for example you're making a 1000 gram or a um, one kilo oil batch, uh, if that's the total amount of your base oils for your soap recipe and you go with the default that soap calc defaults to which is 38% water as percentage of oils, then your water recipe, your water amount in your recipe will come out as 380 grams, because that's 38% of a thousand grams. Now, you don't need to work that out yourself. The soap calculator will tell you that, but that's just to give you, to show you that whatever percentage you enter in, that's a percentage of the, your total oil amount. Now, this magic number here, this is the amount of water that a lot of soap calculators default to. And soap calc, if you don't change anything at all, you, you don't tell, tell the calculator that you want to use different ways of calculating the water, it will just have this number here, 38%. And if you look closely, it'll, it'll say that you're wanting 38% water as a percentage of the oils. 38% water, that's a fairly high water amount. If I used this method to calculate the water in my soap recipes, I'd generally use somewhere around 20%, 22% water as a percentage of oils, which is a lot lower as you can see. But for the types of soap recipes that I use, I think they're more, uh, I think they're better if they use lower water. I do explain this a lot more in my other videos, especially the one about how to actually calculate your soap recipes. This is just 
to clarify the issue of that lye concentration term. So yeah, water as a percentage of oils, that is the main way that water is calculated in a soap recipe. Do you like my whiteboard? I got it especially. <laughs> I tried to find all these other high tech ways to be able to, you know, write stuff out. But honestly, this is the easiest way for me. And I think it's probably the most natural as well. Anyway, the second way that water is calculated for soap recipes is to use the water lye ratio method. This method is different to this one in terms of, for this one, the water amount is in relationship to the oil amount in the soap recipe. It's calculated as a percentage of the oils. In this method, the water is calculated in relationship to the amount of lye in the recipe. So the lye, this is really, really important. The amount of lye or sodium hydroxide for bar soaps or potassium hydroxide for liquid soaps, the amount of lye in your recipe has nothing to do with this section on, on telling a soap calculator how much water you want in your recipe. The actual amount of lye calculated for any given soap recipe is done by the soap calculator and it only relates to the types of oils that you're using and their amount. So in this second method of calculating water, yeah, the water is expressed as a ratio with the lye. So if we went back to this water as percentage of oils one and we had just for example we had 38% water which is the the default that soap calc gives you that percentage of water so that water amount in a recipe expressed in terms of a water lye ratio is about 2.8 parts water to one part lye. So you can see that, that that's a fairly high amount of water. Um, you will see some people will do uh, maybe a 1.5 water to lye ratio or a two to one water to lye ratio. The absolute minimum water amount that you can have in a soap recipe in terms of a ratio is a one to one. You can never have any less water in your soap recipe less than the lye amount. You, you can't have it any lower than that because lye, sodium hydroxide and potassium hydroxide, they need an equal amount of water to be able to dissolve properly. So you would never see it lower than that. Um, but yeah, that's, that's just another way that water can be calculated for a soap recipe. And if you wanted to use this method, some people do, uh, when you go to your soap calculator, lots of them do give you the option to calculate using this method. So you would ignore that and you would ignore the other one, which we haven't got to yet. And you would say, I want to use the water to lie ratio method and I want my recipe to be two to one or whatever it might be. The question about how you decide how much water in um, your soap recipe you want to have and what ratio you should choose, for that one, go back to my video about how to formulate and calculate your own recipes. That will tell you a general way to work out a soap recipe based on a high water, a medium water or a low water amount. This, um, on that subject, this 38% water as a percentage of oils that soap calc defaults to, that's quite a high water soap. And when you hear people refer to full water, that's usually what they're referring to. Uh, and I think it's a little bit tricky. I wish people wouldn't say that because if you say, oh, I use full water, uh, what does that mean? It really, this is what it usually means. It means that they left soap calc at the default uh, water level and it was this 38% water as a percentage of oils, which is quite high. Um, you'll often hear people say, I used a water discount, um, but you have to clarify what that means because does that mean that they 
uh, reduce that from 38% to 20% or you know how did they how did they calculate that so try and get people if they're explaining to you get them to tell you what method they use to arrive at their water amount that way you're comparing apples with apples and not apples with oranges okay so we've got water to lie ratio and that one as I said was about 2.8 water to lie the third way and this is the way that I use, <laughs> which is probably what's caused the confusion. The third way of calculating water in your soap recipe is to use the lye concentration method. I can see, I can totally get it. When I see that term, forgetting that I'm talking about water amount in a soap recipe, when I see that, I, it's understandable that you would think, oh, that means the amount of lye in the soap recipe. It's going to have this much concentration of lye for the soap recipe. That's not the case at all. This term purely refers to the concentration of lye in the lye water solution. So it's just dictating how much water is in the recipe, not how much lye. So in some ways, the lye concentration method for calculating water in your soap recipe, in some ways it's very similar to the water lye ratio because the water amount in the soap recipe, and we're talking about the water in the lye solution because that's where the water goes. We mix it with the lye and then later on it's added to the oils. So this is all about the, that lye solution with the water. So this one here, the water and the lye, that's their ratio. This one's about the water and lye ratio as well. If you have a 50% uh, lye concentration solution, that's going to be 50% lye and 50% water. As I said before, with the one to one water to lye ratio, the lye concentration is the same, 50% lye concentration solution is going to have 50% water to make up the 100% of the whole solution and that's the same as a one to one because it's it's equal weights of of lye and water now again same as this one you can't have a higher lye concentration than 50% that's as maximum as you can go and that that will therefore translate to that's the lowest water amount you can have in your recipe. So for example, if you tried to make that higher than that and you wanted to have a 60% lye concentration um, solution in your recipe, that would only mean 40% water in the lye solution, which isn't enough to dissolve that much amount of lye. That's obviously less less water than you have of the sodium hydroxide or whatever lye you're using. Um, so it's not going to be enough. 50% water is the minimum. So 50% lye is the maximum. I hope that makes sense. So to compare this with these others, the lye concentration solution for a soap recipe that has about 38% water as a percentage of oils is roughly about 26 percent now you know it depends on the recipe don't worry about it too much but just to show you that these two in particular not so much this one because it's this is a a ratio you know you've got a 2.8 to 1 or a 2 to 1 or a 1 to 1 when you see that you know that that's a ratio so that's fine as long as you know it's that one's water and that one's lye, you're all good. But when you see percentages, if I'm saying, oh, my soap recipe's got 26% water, and I don't say that that means I'm using the lye concentration method, somebody might think that I'm using the water as a percentage of oils um, method. In which case, if that was 26%, that would be a lot lower water but these are actually equivalent so if i uh, if i used um, that method and put in 38 percent and i put used that method and put in 26 percent the amount of water in the soap recipe would be 
pretty much the same because these percentages just mean different things. So I hope that makes sense. Now, for those of you who still might be struggling with this a little bit, because the questions I get are things like, how do I know how much um, lye that is? You don't have to worry about the lye amount. As I said before, the soap calculator, it tells you how much lye. This is just about the water. So this is just saying that you want to have 74% water and 26% lye in your solution. So whatever that 26% is, you're gonna have that in a relationship with 74% water. This one's gonna be 2.8 parts water to one part lye. And this one's gonna be 38% water of the, the, of the total oil amount. Does that make sense? I hope I haven't confused you even further. <laughs> Um, but yeah, I just really wanted to clarify this term. I'll just say it one more time. This term, lye concentration, has nothing to do with the concentration of lye in your overall soap recipe. All that is, is about how much water is in your lye solution in relation to the amount of lye. And the soap calculator tells you how much lye to put in your recipe, you're just telling it how strong you want that solution to be. How much water do I want in there? All right, folks, I'm not sure if I can do any better than that. <laughs> um, please ask questions if you need to, because I really am a little bit worried about this one. And yeah, I wanted to um, confirm it for everybody and make sure that you had a good explanation that I could send people to um, when they asked me that question. And yeah, take care of yourselves. I'm looking forward to seeing you in upcoming videos. I've got some really interesting ones to share. A couple in particular in the soap recipe area that are pretty exciting, like some new methods to share, which I haven't really seen before. So that'll be really cool. All right, take care everyone. See you in the next video. Bye.